Hello, today I'm going to show you how to draw these two hugging bears. First, set the fur to none, leave the stroke as it is, and be sure the stroke is aligned to the center. Next, select the ellipse tool and draw a circle. Let's create a copy and be sure it is aligned with the original circle. Next, create a copy of that copied circle. Press the Ctrl and C keys on your keyboard to copy it and Ctrl F to paste it in front. Now resize it. Next, place it here. Make sure it doesn't cross the center line between the circles. Let's add a guide to make the next several steps easier. First, press the Ctrl and R keys to show the ruler, then click on it, hold, and drag it to this intersection. Select the small circle and then press the letter O for the Reflect tool. Now click in the center of this circle to set the reflection point. Click on the small circle Hold it and while holding down the Shift and Alt keys, drag it to reflect it to the other side. Select both circles, press O for the Reflect tool, then click on the guide to set the reflection point. Next, click on the circle and drag while holding Shift and Alt to reflect it to the other side. Switch to the Selection tool and let's create a copy of this circle. Resize it and place it in the center. Let's draw a small circle and reshape it. Using the Direct Selection tool, select this anchor point and move it down. Let's move this one up. Then choose the Convert Selected Anchor Point to Corner option from the top bar. Select these two anchor points, then move them up or down using the arrow keys. Next, select this anchor point, then switch to the Anchor Point tool, click on it, hold, and drag to adjust the curve. If needed, adjust the shape a bit more, until you are happy with how it looks. Switch to the ellipse tool again and draw another circle. Press the letter C to switch to the scissors tool and create two cuts at these anchor points. Let's move this part over here, rotate this part by 180 degrees and align it with the other shape. Now create one more copy and place it below. Select the Eraser tool, adjust its size and click on this anchor point to remove a small section of the arc. Now repeat this with the other anchor point. Let's move it up. Next, select all top circles Go to Object, Path and Offset Path. Change the offset to approximately negative 30 and then click OK. Select all circles on top and the two large circles and then go to the Shape Builder tool. Let's connect these shapes together. Then repeat the process with these ones. Select this shape and create a copy. Let's place it here. Switch to the Scissors tool and create two cuts. Select this part and delete it. Let's trim this arc a little bit more using the Eraser tool. Adjust the rotation and let's add some eyelashes. Select the pen tool and draw a line starting at this anchor point. Draw another one here 
and one more here. Select all paths, adjust the rotation and group it together. Select the Reflect tool and click on this anchor point to set the reflection point. Now click, hold and drag to create a copy. Next select all top circles and the two large ones and let's lock the selection. Select the remaining shapes and use the down arrow key to move them down a bit. With everything still selected, press the O key for the Reflect tool and single click on the guide to set the reflection point. Now copy it to the other side. Select the Ellipse tool and draw a small oval shape. Let's delete these paths. Adjust the position and rotation of this shape. Now swap the fill and the stroke. Click away to deselect, then select white for the fill and draw a small ellipse. Move it a little higher and adjust the rotation. Now select both ellipses and switch to the Reflect tool. Single click on this anchor point, then click, hold and drag to reflect it to the other side. Let's select the nose shape, then apply a black fill. Swap the fill and the stroke. Now click on the stroke, hold and drag it into the fill to apply the same color. Let's create a copy of this white ellipse and bring it here. Rotate it, resize it and adjust its position. Select these two shapes and reflect them to the other side. Next switch to the pen tool and set the fill to none. Let's unlock the selection. Draw a straight line from this anchor point to this guide. With the line still selected, go to the curvature tool. Now click on the path, hold and drag to create a curve. Let's reflect it to the other side. If necessary, select these two anchor points and bring them down or up. Next, select the ellipse tool, click on the guide and draw a circle. Let's duplicate it, ensuring it is aligned with the first circle. Select both circles and activate outline mode to see more clearly what we are doing. Now align them with the large circles. Turn off the outline mode. Switch to the scissors tool and create a cut at this anchor point. Now drag it outside the heart shape. Select this handle and adjust the curve. Switch to the selection tool and select everything. Go to the Shape Builder tool and connect these shapes together. Select Light Blue for the fill and click on this shape to apply it. Create these shapes as well. Change the fill to Light Pink and create these shapes. Let's create these shapes as well. Now double click on the fill box Choose a lighter pink and apply it to these shapes. Let's repeat this with the blue bear. Alternatively, select the desired shapes, then go to Recolor Artwork in the tab bar and adjust the colors here.
Next, select the unnecessary paths and delete them. Finally, go to View, Guides and select Clear Guides. Go to View again, Rulers and select Hide Rulers. Let's select everything and align it to the center of the artboard. If you wish, go to the Stroke panel and increase the Stroke weight. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.